Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. Today we're gonna have a very different video. As you can see I'm in my car and trying something new. I'm recording in my car because I think sometimes you know there's just topics where you want to waste your opinion and you want to give your two cents on it and I think this like format where I'm just sitting in my car talking about it is the best and most time efficient way for me to do this kind of stuff. So I hope you you enjoy this kind of format and you like it. So yeah, what are we going to talk about today? I thought we are going to start this off by talking in the car about something about a car. So I'm going to talk about autonomy, autonomous driving, my opinion about it and if I think that Elon Musk's vision is good or not or realistic or not. So maybe you don't know or not aren't up to speed on what's happening in the world of autonomy and autonomous driving. So let me fill you in. So Elon Musk this summer proposed that at the end of this year there will be an update for all Tesla cars enabling them to drive autonomously. So all Tesla cars that have the technology inside to drive autonomously can then really drive autonomously. And he said yes this update will come at the end of this year and everyone was like what and even I was like what uh, and by the way it's December the update hasn't yet arrived and, and to be honest I don't think it will but anyway um, we'll get to that and furthermore Elon Musk said yes and next year we're gonna build a car uh, without a steering wheel and then we're gonna remove the brakes and then we're gonna remove the gas pedal essentially giving the car full responsibility of how you're driving because you don't have any control anymore. So what is my opinion on that? First of all let's talk about the update, the famous autonomous driving update that the Teslas should get. Now I think it's important to first of all say no not only Tesla has autonomous driving but people always talk about Tesla because they're probably one of the most famous companies when it comes to this sort of technology because they were like the spearhead of this innovation. Uh, but companies like Volkswagen and BMW they all have caught up. They all have some sort of self-driving already included or some driving assistance is probably the better word for it. Like Tesla, like lane guidance and stuff like that. Awesome stuff. So no it's not only Tesla. But what do I think do I think that this update for the Teslas will arrive this year? Do I think that autonomous driving will come this year to all Teslas? No. <laughs> to be honest, Elon Musk is famous for saying, yeah, yeah, the update will come. We will, you will all have the new amazing Tesla car next year and then it comes two years later. That's typical Elon Musk. <laughs> he, he always he's always thinking two steps ahead, which is great, but sometimes he just doesn't know how to plan when it comes time to time. He always thinks, yeah, yeah, it just will take two months and then it will take six months. So yeah, he's probably the best word would be a bit too optimistic when it comes to this stuff. And many professionals that are working in the autonomous driving sector say it will take still year, years till we get any sort of autonomous driving. So I don't know, I don't think this update will come this year, maybe at the end of next year or earliest. So as a technology enthusiast I love the idea of autonomous driving. Just from a technological standpoint all the programming that has to go into making this, the whole technology behind it, it's incredible. I mean it's so futuristic and we all saw it with James Bond and other movies or science fiction movies and now it's kind of becoming reality. It's really crazy and it's becoming a realistic reality every day that goes by. But we're just not ready yet and the problem with autonomous driving is there's so many things you have to take into account when it comes to that. I mean when it to from construction work sites to accidents to weird situations happening because the biggest problem in my opinion for autonomous driving is not when everything goes right. Like for example, you program the car, follow the lanes, the, you know if there's a speed limit, keep to the speed limit, do not drive faster, do not drive too slow. If it rains, drive slower, if it snows, you know, stuff like that. That's not a problem, you can program this. But as soon as something diverts from the norm, if there's a construction site, here in Austria we tend to then make uh, orange lines that go through the, uh, through the white lines and they go different ways. 
and right now Tesla cars are going insane if they have lane guidance and this sort of stuff happens they are totally confused should I follow the, uh, the orange lines the white lines what's happening and then they just freak out and drive really badly um, that's a big problem next thing if an accident happens what does should the car do how does it react or and that's probably one of the biggest problems is what does it do if one of the human drivers in front of the car does something against the rules because let's face it we all we all have broken one a sort of traffic rule in our life before whether that is going over a yellow light whether that is like kind of going into a lane like kind of just tightly fitting in because you need to go to the left and the people don't let you in and you just say no I, I will go in you will stop and let me in we all know we all had this moment when you like have a bit stress where you're a bit stressed and you really need to get on time to where you need to be and then you do something that's a bit stupid and you know we all had it and it happens it happens from day to day people drive too fast people don't blink for example at the roundabout I don't know if it's that's the same in the UK or in, in the USA I don't know maybe you can tell me about this but here in Austria people really forget what their blinker is for it seems like they never blink it's really making me go crazy sometimes because you wait at the roundabout and they they just uh, exit without blinking and you're like why don't you why don't you blink <laughs> so yeah so those kind of factors there's so much to take into account and the biggest problem probably is ethics when you think about what should the car do for example if you drive and suddenly a child ra runs on the street without looking and another car is coming from the other lane what should you do i would say if it's not possible to avoid the situation without hitting anyone it's better to hit the car than the child obviously because the car i mean gets a dent maybe and the car is maybe wrecked but the person inside the car has more chances of not being hurt than for example the child because if you hit the child i mean you directly hit the child if you know what i mean and it, it will get hurt probably so the, and you have to program this into the car i mean you have to think about this you have to program this into the car and it's not that easy if you think about it, you you have to teach technology ethics and we all know it's technology after all and technology can and will fail it's not can it will fail there has never been one program on this earth that hasn't failed once there is it's technology after all and you can program all you want you can never never take every situation that could happen every possibility that could happen on the road into account when programming autonomous driving it just is not possible and if people say it is it really isn't because the biggest factor and problem when programming cars for autonomous driving is that there are human drivers on the road and human drivers do not act sometimes according to the rules they don't follow the rules as chicks i would say no really it, it, it is like that and that's a big problem for autonomous cars because you know after all it's technology they just follow what we program them to do and if something happens that they're not programmed to program to react to they just freak out and now here's the big problem you know I don't mind having a fully autonomous car no I like I like the idea but what I do not like is Elon Musk's idea of getting rid of the steering wheel getting rid of the brakes the gas pedal everything that gives me control over the car what I mean with that is after all for example when I turn on lane guidance on a Tesla the car drives and if at any point in time the car does something that I do not like I can step in I take the steering wheel I press on the brake or whatever and I have full control immediately over the car and that's good I mean I don't mind that that's I think a good idea so having the car do its stuff but if at any point the car does something wrong I can step in and say no stop let me take control so I think what Elon Musk kind of is getting wrong is that yes we should have autonomy in cars and yes we should definitely develop this technology but we should never take the control that we as humans have over our cars away from us because essentially let's be honest it's still technology in this car just technology it can technology at this point cannot and will not think like a human it cannot 
improvise. If something happens that it's not programmed for, it doesn't know what to do. It's just that simple. If something happens that on the road that we have never been confronted in as humans, we'll just we'll try to improvise. A car that is programmed to do something won't do that. Maybe there's like something, a safe switch or something where it just will try something, but it doesn't know what to do essentially. And that can be really, really bad in traffic if something happens that it's not programmed for. So again, I'm all for this technology, but I think they should only assist and not replace us humans. All those lane guidance assistance, brake assistance, they're great. I love them. I really love the idea. The more assistance, the better. For example, the brake assistance, I think is a great idea. You have, um, if for example, you drive on the highway and you, I don't know, you, you look to your left, you're distracted for a second. It all happens to us, let's be honest. You look, at, you look to the left and suddenly someone in front of you brakes the brake assistant can immediately take control and brake even though you haven't reacted. That's amazing. That's a really good idea. Technology that assists and helps us drive more safely. But it should never replace us because essentially, and that's what scares me, the idea of not having a steering wheel, a brake or a gas pedal is if I drive in such a car and the car suddenly does something wrong, doesn't brake or let's say worst case scenario there's a child on the road and the car does not break it doesn't recognize the child which sometimes happens these days even when you look at the autonomous cars sometimes they don't stop and you you yourself have to stop but if you don't have a brake if you don't have a gas pedal you can't you, essentially you have to watch as the car hits hits the child let's be honest you you are really you, you can you just have to accept whatever will happen or for example, if the car drives off the road down a cliff, you can't do anything. You can maybe jump out, but that's it. And that just, that scares me, that idea. And I don't get why. Why, why can't we just make autonomous cars, but still have a steering wheel, a brake, a gas pedal. And if at any point something goes wrong, I step in, it's, it's fine. Or if at any point I'm uncomfortable with the way that the car drives, I can just step in and say, no, no, let me take control of this. I don't like the way you're doing. Maybe you can you can like program the car to learn. For example, that would be an amazing idea. I mean, I don't know. I think the Teslas, probably all other cars do that as well. I just know it from the Tesla right now. Wait, there's a cat on the road. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. But just because I'm seeing it right now, there was a cat on the road. And like I saw the cat, of course. But like maybe those sensors, if it, if the, the animal is too small, maybe they won't see the animal. Like th those are things you have to take into account when designing such an autonomous car. And may what I wanted to say before is, I think what is really what would be a really great idea, and probably cars are already doing this, is if you create a fully autonomous car where I still can take over control, and while I am driving, for example. Or let's say the car is driving on itself and it suddenly begins to snow a lot and for me the car drives too fast or not safe enough i take control and the car suddenly thinks ah okay the way i was driving right now wasn't really good the owner stepped in because he wasn't comfortable with the way i was driving and then the car starts to analyze okay how is he driving in those situations and maybe learning from that like learning okay on this road when there's a lot of snow I should drive like this because that's how the owner would drive I think that's a good idea that's what the car should do of course the car should know if maybe the owner drives not safely or too fast that the car knows okay that's not the way to do it but if the owner stays in the regulations like drives at the speed limit and so in in the speed limit not too fast not too slow just that the car also learns from the driver and not that the car only does what it's programmed for and whenever something happens that it's not programmed for it just freaks out so maybe that the car continuously learns that it's never stops learning while driving and maybe that it gets better and better every day that it drives autonomously that would be a really great idea and I think that's the way to do it and so essentially what I say is yes Autonomous technology is great and I'm really looking forward to it but as long as there are human drivers on the road and humans near the road which will be always the case um, 
autonomy should never, never, ever mean that it replaces us humans or takes over our full responsibility. It should assist us. I think this technology is made or should be made to assist us make driving safer, but never ever replace us. We should always be able as owners of the car to step in, to take control, brake or speed up or just, I don't know, take control of the steering wheel and drive wherever we want to. I think this is the way to go and that is what Tesla and all the other companies should do. So yes, I think that Elon Musk should calm a bit down with his futuristic ideas and maybe rethink if it really is a good idea to get rid of the steering wheel, the brakes and the gas entirely. Oh, there's a dog. So yeah guys, what's your opinion on the topic? Do you think autonomous driving is the future? Do you agree with Elon Musk? Do you say yes, we need to get rid of the steering wheel, the gas, the brakes, make like every car be a taxi where you, where you only watch, where you can watch Netflix movies and just let the car drive on its own? Or do you agree with me and say yes, we should focus on creating more advanced and better learning assistance and create autonomous cars, yes, but never we should never take away the control from the humans, from us. We should always be able to step in wherever, whenever we want. What is your opinion on it? Write it in the comments. I would be really interested to talk with you about this because this is a recent development and I think in the next decade going forward, this, is, this area is where the most advancement and improvements will be done in the next years. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen. Maybe also write in the comments, how do you think our way of driving will change in the next years? You know, with what cars will we drive? Electric cars, hydro energy cars. There's so much at work and so much in development. It's really interesting. So what is your opinion on everything? Write it in the comments. That's me, David, signing off. Have a good one.